Hi guys and girls, Rose Burnett here and welcome to my channel and uh, so awesome that you're here. If you enjoy my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel. There are some competitions running again this month. So if you want to go into the draw to win the beautiful Sacred Power Oracle up for grabs, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, pop a comment down below. You want to win this deck, you'll go into the draw. Uh, I will just announce the winners for July because none of the prizes have been claimed. So the winner of the angel reading cards was... Let me just pull this up. Uh, Dream Boldly. So if your YouTube channel is called Dream Boldly, that is you. You need to get in touch with me. Email is on here and down below. Uh, the personal reading was was won by Happy Hermit. So whoever's got the YouTube channel, Happy Hermit, you have won that personal reading. Get in touch with me. The winner who was the 40,000th subscriber on my channel was Pauline Bacosha. So Pauline, you've won a personal reading with me as well. You all need to get in touch. And I just will say again that the winners for May, details are down below in the description box. They've still not claimed their prizes. So do get in touch, my loves. Uh, before we dive in, I do have a special announcement that I have just released a new ebook. And uh, it's for those of you that if, if you're ever stuck in a repetitive cycle of attracting uh, players, love bombers, narcissist in dating, in relationships, uh, it's very much about why you're attracting those kinds of uh, relationship dynamics can be related to trauma bonding, your relationship attachment type. If you've ever felt low self-esteem, struggle to find your authentic self and follow your passions and purpose, if you're very hypersensitive to criticism or the judgment of others, can all be trauma bonds playing out. And, you know, it's related back to childhood trauma, dysfunctional family relationships, and it can play out in love relationships, your family relationships with friendships and in the workplace, these trauma bonds, because they're stored in a very deep level within the physical body as well as in our psyche, so our neural pathways in the brain. So the ebook is one about education, understanding how those trauma bonds were formed, how they impact you, how they impact your relationships, how you feel about yourself. There's a lot of self-care activities in there to boost up your sense of self-love, self-worth, releasing those trauma bonds, healing from those trauma bonds, bringing a lot of self-confidence, love, of appreciation of self. Um, so you come back into this beautiful balanced state so that you can attract the type of relationship, healthy relationship that you're looking for. We dive deep into online dating and the red flags to watch out for so that you know when you're connecting with new people, you know, the kind of traits that play out for players, love bombers, narcissists. Um, it, we dive deep into narcissistic traits in both men and women uh, because we can have both genders doing that, you know, and you can grow up with a mother that was covert narcissist, yeah, or, you know, a parent with uh, narcissistic traits. You may be totally unaware of what they are because they can be covert, yeah. Uh, so we dive deep into that so you know what to look for. And, you know, if you have weak boundaries or you suffer from people pleasing, often you've got trauma bonds playing out and they can really affect how we show up in life. So if you're interested in checking that out, I'm going to put the link on here. It's going to pop up in the corner. I'll also put the link down below. Uh, go along and check that out. All right, my loves, let's dive into your reading. All right, Virgo, uh, we're going to be pulling some energies for the second half of August from uh, a brand new deck, the Sacred Earth Oracle. Let's see what you need to know. Ah, you've pulled consistency. It's a beautiful big sun in the background. There's a lot of um, amber energy coming out, which can certainly represent the solar plexus. What else does Virgo need to know? Mm, you pulled stretch, which is so gorgeous. There's so much growth going on there. Sorry, darling. Do you pull perception? Um, I literally will go through all of these for you. There's certainly a message coming through here. There's a lot of self-reflection coming through and looking within 
Oh yeah, and also you pull productivity again, a lot of green energy coming out. So mostly what's channeling through here is uh, with consistency, it's about applying yourself consistently. Particularly if you want to, it's, you know, it's often related to our abundance flows, our finances, our sense of security, stability, the things that we want to work on. It's consistently showing up and working towards them, being very organized and disciplined and structured in what you're doing. You may need to look at your life in terms of are there ways in which you're getting stuck in practices that are distracting or you're procrastinating or, you know, you're just wasting time, like, you know, flicking through your phone or spirit's asking for you to show up consistently in your life yeah it's really going to pay off and bring benefits into you uh, the message of stretch is getting out of your comfort zone it's about doing things differently it's about taking risks and going after what it is you want there's a lot of growth that wants to happen for you it's about doing things in a different way avoiding limited thinking and rigid thinking mm-hmm You've also got perception, which is looking beneath the surface of things, observing situations and people, not taking them at face value, um, observing how they behave and how they show up to get a really good sense of where they're coming from, um, particularly if you're feeling like something's a little bit off with people. It's a trusting your own perception of things, not taking people on face value and the things that they say. Mm -hmm. And you've also pulled productivity. So, again, this is a message around how you're spending your time. Uh, there's a lot of abundance that wants to happen for you. So very much about, you know, there may be possibly better ways of doing things than you're doing right now. Uh, it can also relate to those of you that are, have family where things feel a bit chaotic and you always seem like you're running from one thing to the next, particularly if you've got children there's better ways of you all working together as a family unit to create more balance and stability in your life mm -hmm. versus reacting to everything all the time. All right, let's put some guidance from the Angel Wisdom Tarot. Oh, this is gorgeous. You got the three of Earth, which is doing what you love, what you're passionate about, creative projects fully embracing uh that creative side of self and if it's something you want to do spirit saying you have to consistently work at it and show up mm -hmm. show up for yourself oh you're going through this amazing transformation directly re related to you stretching outside of your comfort zone particularly if you've been stuck in a routine of patterning and doing the same thing over and over again there's an amazing opportunity coming in for you. Um, it's about how you perceive it. So there is something very positive coming towards you, but your perception of that offer is going to really influence whether you see it in a positive or negative light. Uh, it's going to align with your creativity. It's going to help you stretch. So even if it feels like it's a little bit outside of your comfort zone, it's really going to push you forward. And there's also a time of great sadness. So some of you may have experienced a certain loss in your life, a physical loss of someone in your life, something that's really disappointed you. you got the four of fire, which is a sense of celebration. It can be within family, um, you know, graduations, birth announcements. It can be... There's a lot of stability coming towards you, a lot of peace and prosperity. There's a gorgeous home in the background. Some of you buying a home. And you've got the two of earth, which is juggling a lot. Time and, time and coins. And I'm going to say to you that, you know, for some of you, you're wasting time. And Spirit's saying you need to be more productive to balance all the demands on your time. You need to be really focused so that you can balance what you're doing with time for self, particularly if you feel like you're not getting enough time for self. All right, let's put some guidance from the Muse Tarot. Mm -hmm. You've got the Four of Voices, which is overthinking, and Spirit's asking you to leave the shadow side of self on the side of the bath. You're sitting in a bath with rose petals. You need to do some things that really get you out of your mind, Virgo, so you can relax. 
Mm, and you've got the nine of materials, which is whatever you put out is going to come back to you in kind. There's this beautiful self-made success based on your own efforts. Very abundant. Mm. And you've got the four of emotions, which is looking backwards on things that have been disappointing. Your mood, your energy is stuck somewhere in things that have been disappointing. Mm. You've got the nine of voices. So this is directly related to transformation, which is sleepless nights going on. Um, some of you fear-based thoughts about stretching outside of your comfort zone doing new things uh, you got the three of emotions so you do have supportive friendships around you possibly some of the transformation that's going on is around the people that are in your circle whether it's family whether it's friendships it's changing and you've got the wheel of fortune here so things are going to suddenly shift forward it can certainly represent travel opportunities coming your way yeah you got the seven of emotions. So this is about where you're going to place your time, your energy, uh, your emotional thought processes, thinking, because it's also related to sadness, right? So, and how you perceive situations, it's up to you. So whatever you focus on is basically what's going to be the driver in your life. So if you're focused on negative things and you're a bit of a mood because of things that have happened that have been negative, that's where your energy is going to flow versus the blessings that want to happen for you the opportunities that want to happen for you. And Spirit's saying you need to get into this energy, which is the nine of inspiration, being unstoppable. Um, you know, there's a lot here about connectedness to ancient Egypt, your divine gifts and talents, your past lives, the strength you have within you. You've got a warrior spirit within you, and it's so strong, my loves, but you've got to tap into that and trust it and step into it. Mm hmm Because you have the power to overcome anything that's happened in your life. Yeah, because you've got the queen of materials, self-made success. Highly talented and accomplished, whether you're a guy or a girl. Mm. And you've got the five of voices, which is there may be the need for you to extend the olive branch to someone. Someone may be extending the olive branch to you, asking for forgiveness. It's the ability to work together collaboratively. Mm. Oh, this is beautiful. There's a need to take a leap of faith. So many opportunities want to happen for you. And it's come out with the queen of emotions. So this is the emotional and mental energy you need to get into, which is super balanced, this beautiful watery energy, being in flow, not letting anything upset your inner balance and peace. It's so gorgeous. All right, let's put you some guidance from the Nature's Whispers Oracle. Yeah, it's definitely new experiences and possibilities that want to happen for you. Lots of new beginnings, opportunities. All right, let's put some guidance from the Energy Oracle. Oh, for some of you, you've got the door to romance opening. I've got to say it might be a little bit of a surprise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, gosh, it's come out with a broken heart. Oh, some of you need to do some clearance of things from the past in relation to love, particularly if you want to open up that door to love. Mm. Oh, my God, darlings. There's a divine pair that have just come out, man holding a heart, woman holding a heart. Spirit's trying to send you love most unexpectedly, darlings, and it's going to help heal your heart from whatever's gone on in the past. Oh, whoever's coming in is going to be a perfect match for you. Oh, yeah, there's so many doors that want to open for you related to you getting out of your comfort zone and transformation going on. Mm. And Spirit's calling for you to have a plan and a strategy, but mostly it's related to you might actually, to be honest, I'm going to give you another message. There's a message here to do some journaling. And this is around your emotions and anything you need to release that's hurt you, particularly in the heart chakra. Because we've got sadness sitting here. To journal out your feelings so you can clear them. Yeah. 
because you're carrying those feelings around like a heavy bloody baggage, right? Like a big blanket of just sadness, my loves. And it's underneath you trying to get on with life. You just need to, you know what happens when we push down? Can you hear that noise? Got a little Pomeranian who's staring at me. He's quite feisty sometimes. He's getting a little feisty this afternoon. He's having a little sneeze. When we shove emotions down and we don't deal with them and we just get on with life and we pretend that everything's okay because that's a way of coping, those emotions will still sit there, right? And they'll bubble up at the most inappropriate time if somebody ticks you off and you might react to something that's got nothing related to do with that person, right? But it's because you've got wounding or emotions that of something that's upset you that you haven't dealt with. Spirit's asking for you to deal with it and face them and release it from yourself because it's holding you back in terms of life enjoyment, openly accepting brand new opportunities coming your way. There's so much beauty and abundance and love that wants to happen for you. And Spirit's saying take action. I've got to say there's so much here about your productivity. <laughs> oh, around your finances, career. Oh, and you've got the door to Spirit opening. Spirit's absolutely watching over you. Mm -hmm. particularly these new beginnings all right let's put some guidance around uh, the goddess guidance deck okay you got damara guiding children so your children may be coming to seek advice from you um mm -hmm. and you got dana high priestess some of you very connected to spirit Beautiful spiritual side. Do your spiritual practices. Mm. Again, you got the message to take a leap of faith, directly related to this transformation. So some of you have had something within you that you've wanted to do for a long time and the Spirit's saying the timing's right. Yeah, but it's up to you to take that leap of faith. you got Maui, Mother Earth. So a lot of you are earth angels. Virgos generally are. So getting out in nature is the place that is in your happy bubble. Some of you are passionate about helping out with causes related to protecting Mother Earth, animals. Mm. And Spirit's calling for you to trust your inner wisdom. There's an owl there, seeing the truth in situations. This is around you taking action, being more productive, consistent, where you can improve. Okay, oh, this is interesting. Oh, you've got boundaries here. The need to put healthy boundaries in place with others. It's related to somebody trying to, I'm going to say someone may, that has crossed your boundary and created some hurt in your life may come back to you to try and mend the relationship. And that's okay. Be open to it. But within that connection, there needs to be healthy boundaries respected, which have not been respected previously. So it's up to you to set those healthy boundaries. Even if in the past you've had weak boundaries and you haven't spoken up for yourself because you're worried that you're going to hurt somebody else's feelings. Spirit's saying you need to put those healthy boundaries in place in order for both of you, even if it's more than one person, to move forward together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you got the justice card. So whatever that was is going to be handled fairly and justly. Certainly be related to family. All right, let's pull your message from your angels. And to be honest with you, that energy's been sitting with your energy, Virgo, for probably the last three months. And for some of you, it's related to inheritance, and I've said that before. Something that fighting going on within family. Oh, yeah, here we go, harmony. <laughs> it says disharmony occurs when we try to resist life's natural flow. Everything has a cycle and every stage of life has its own unique meaning and purpose. Every day can be harmonious if we want it to be. So choosing inner peace and harmony. Uh, you know, it feels like you've ended a chapter or cycle in your life that's old and it doesn't serve you anymore. And Spirit's asking for you to open up to the next chapter of your life, which is opening up to new experiences and possibilities. Mm -hmm. Stop fighting the growth that wants to happen for you. All right, let's pull your crowning energy with the beautiful Divine Circus Oracle. Gorgeous deck by Lana Fairchild. Oh, here you are, darlings. This is so beautiful. So your colours. Oh, you pulled confetti. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's quite a, quite a gorgeous message to this one. 
Are you ready? It says Virgo. It says you will soon have cause for celebration, whether a big win or a token gain, affirming that the best is yet to come. Sweet success is headed your way, so be prepared to celebrate. It's time to be a party person, to find the celebratory spirit within. Maybe you already feel it, and maybe it's the last thing in the world that you could imagine feeling right now. But whether it's on your radar or not, a cause for celebration is imminent. So can you put yourself in party mood? It starts with a carnival attitude and a pleasure-seeking state of mind. Can you allow for pleasure, for play? Oh yes, there's much to do, but sometimes that can all happen more quickly and easily another day. For now, this oracle suggests your time and energy is best spent in playfulness. The most enjoyable piece of spiritual guidance you're probably ever going to receive. So relish it. And don't waste another moment to get your celebratory vibe on. And confetti also brings you a message that if you want more success, happiness and celebration in your life, you can enhance that right now by being happy for the success of others around you. Do you know that success is like a wave? When you genuinely congratulate another and feel happy for their happiness, your own energy field gets a jolt of the same energy. You attract it into your life and you deserve success for all that you've accomplished just as much as anyone else. So be happy for another, even if a part of you wonders if there is enough to go around. If maybe they've taken your piece of that pie or if you wonder if their success is really deserved. Let such thoughts be without adding to their power by either being embarrassed about them, trying to pretend they don't exist or feeling that you're a bad person for thinking in such a way. Just take charge and choose how you want to respond to another's victory. Maybe you can even respond to your own doubts by saying that this person is having their turn, which means my turn will be coming soon. Be happy for them and happy for you. And enjoy this oracle which lets you know the universe is giving you a notice of a party. And you most definitely are meant to attend and it's heading your way. Wow, so a celebration coming. So it's obviously also someone in your circle friend, family, doesn't matter who it is, uh, who's also going to have some sort of success. And Spirit's asking you for it to be gracious and just to really celebrate their success as well. Mm -hmm. oh, there's, a, there's an affirmation here. It says, I love life. I celebrate life. I find the playfulness I need to let my soul be wild and free. Oh, yes. <laughs> Open up to those new beginnings, Virgo. All right, for now, much love, much light. Namaste.